What's up everybody and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here on a set of Corsa in Content Manager. We can take a look at my wheel settings and get some sliding in some random lobbies. But before we get into that, something I'm very excited to talk to you guys about. I've partnered up with Teespring to bring you guys the ability to pick up some Evil Rabbit merch yourself. So if you guys want to know where to get it, the link will be in the description box below. But also you can go to my YouTube page and click on the Evil Rabbit merch button. It'll take you right to the merch store. We got the Evil Rabbit logo on t-shirts, tanks, hoodies, and a black logo on the white tee. And see you on the track. Little slogan on the back. Super excited to have this available for you guys and have it up and available for you guys to purchase if you want to support. More merch is going to be coming to this store. Big thank you, you know, to the guys at Teespring for being able to hook me up with this merch store so that you guys can pick up some Evil Rabbit merch of your own if you would like to rep the logo. So, like I said, more merch will be coming here very soon. Um, definitely would appreciate the support from you guys if you guys want to rock the logo. And if you do purchase yourself some of the Evil Rabbit swag, make sure you guys tag me on Instagram at EvilRabbit07. That way I can see you guys with it so once again you guys can get it in the link in the description box below or you guys can click on the little evil rabbit merch on my youtube channel itself it'll take you right there and you guys can do you know pick some up yourself that does ship globally so if you guys are from the uk or anything like that you guys can still get it so super excited that uh teespring is now going to be handling merch and stuff like that for me so definitely a big thing for me and you know a big thing for you guys if you guys want to pick up some merch yourself so let's get back to wheel settings so a lot of you guys have been asking what my wheel settings are for my fanatech it's very actually simple i do have my wheel setting gain at 60 percent I have zero filter percenting, minimum force feedback at zero. I have curb effect, road effect, slip effect, ABS effect, all of it's turned off. And I do have, you know, central boost gain at 10 and the uh, central boost gain at zero and the range at 10. Sorry, I apologize for that. Because the reason I have all this stuff turned off is because my Fanatec is um, trying to counteract it. So, as for my Fanatec settings... You guys can probably see it on my S1 right there. I'm going to try to go behind this so you guys can see it. For sensitivity, we have it on authentic. Force feedback, we have 100%. SHO, we have it 100. ABS, we have it 45. That's just personal preference for the vibration of my pedal. DRL, which is the drift setting, we have it negative 1 to give the wheel a little bit more friction when it's rotating back and forth. I found it works best for me. And then for, I believe that was... Uh, FOR, right, oh, no, go back to 100. We're at 100. SPR, we're at 100. DPR, we're at 100. Braking force, we're at 50. I used to have it at 51%. FEI at 100, and those are my wheel settings in my actual Fanatec. So, these are the settings that I'm running. We're going to go try and get into a random lobby here. I was looking at this Need for Speed 2005 track because it looks pretty fun. And it's got the ACD, you know, cars in there, which I do have a lot of fun driving these ACDs. So we're going to see if we can maybe grab some tandems and some randoms here. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below, as well as the link to the merch site. Super excited to have that merch site now available, running 100%. Like I said, more merch will be coming. So if you guys want to pick some up, check it out in the link description. So we're going to join in, and we're going to see if we can't get into a lobby. we got to get the... Uh, Wheel cam and everything turned down. There we go. Wheel cam, pedal cam, all turned on, ready to go. I thought I almost unplugged my microphone there for a second. I'm going to move my seat forward. Advantage of seat sliders. All right. So we got some people on the track. We're going to adjust our tires. We're going to drop these tires down to 22 PSI. And we're just going to send it. Turn the lights on. Make sure we're at 100% boost. So this is a pretty fun track. Um, I'm not actually sure where I got it downloaded from. If you find the lobby, you can click the little search button and download it through there. I believe you can find a link through there. It's probably one of the first tracks I ever went on to with uh, these ACD cars. And I was able to grab some serious doors with these guys. So we're going to try and see if we can maybe grab doors here today. It's a fun little track. I mean, if you guys remember playing Need for Speed, I believe this is actually 
one of the tracks that was in the game. You want to go? Let's do this. Let's do some tandems. Falcon tandems? I don't think he wants to. I don't think so. Go wants to go. He's not really uh, so going. And I'm not sure if there's anybody else on the track right now. Down to the third. There we go. Ooh, just a little wall grace. A little booty bump. We good. If you guys didn't check out the tandem video with Fernand. 820 and I at OSW. Make sure you check that out in the last video that was uploaded before this one. Definitely was grabbing some serious doors with Fern and having a lot of fun. Definitely getting way more comfortable in my chasing and it shows in that video and it goes just to the attest of seat time and practice. Doing all this with a bum finger is uh, well, a little bit of a bummer and uh, I'm super excited that this will be coming off soon. I see somebody ripping out of the pits. We can be able to grab some dandums. Oh, we got two cars behind us. All right, now we good. We got two cars behind us, one in front of us. Oh, tandems with randoms. I kind of almost biffed that. I'm gonna pop off sideways here. Let these guys go. Let these guys go up. He kind of cuts the track a little bit. So it's definitely fun hopping into random lobbies and trying to. Uh, you know, tandem with some randoms and stuff like that, but you can don't always find some of the smoothest drivers. So I've been noticing that my tandems have been getting better following some uh, very solid drivers. I do have my Discord channel almost fully set up, so I will be doing the Discord here very soon. Oh, those guys just died! We'll be doing the Discord here very soon so that I can start running some public lobbies and public sessions with the fact that I can run servers to get some more tandems with some other people and have some fun and you know be able to talk to you guys in the session with my discord server Fern and I were using it testing it out making sure everything was good oh my god that dude just surged my door double initiation a little bit I don't know where this dude's at Apparently he wants to follow me, so we're just going to maybe run one more run in the lead position and maybe try and slot back into chase. Ooh, a little bit too greasy on that wall. Whoa. Now I know a lot of you guys... Oh, my car went the first? What? Okay, that dude doesn't have to lay into me. Oh my god. So... I know a lot of you guys are saying, oh man, driving in third person. Well, most of the time I spend driving in first person. Sometimes I spend driving in third person, but I bring the, you know, uh, first person, I bring the third person view to you guys to make it more entertaining for you guys to watch and for you to see more rather than just being in cockpit with real head motion. And that will change soon once Oculus becomes a thing. Uh, then definitely we'll be getting full first person Oculus content. Trying to back that in there, apparently. So, like I said, I'm not entirely sure where I got this track download from. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to ask for a description or a link in the description. I don't know where this track came from, so I can't really tell you. So I do apologize for that. But if you do find the server on Content Manager, you should be able to click the little you know, magnifying glass next to it, it should be able to bring you up to where it is. So we're gonna try and wait for this uh, E46, I think. Er, E92. Canadian E92. I don't think this car's Canadian, I think he's just Canadian. There we go. So, doing tandems with randoms that are not always super fluent is also a very good training tool I found because it teaches me to basically tandem with anybody because you know competing in the Bushido series which you know round one didn't qualify unfortunately uh, kind of biffed my qualifying runs if you guys watched it live so round two won't be until next month beginning of the year but tandeming with randoms in some cars is definitely very good for me to learn 
to how to tandem behind other people that are not maybe as fluent. And I need to be able to tandem with people that are, oh, maybe aren't as fluent because not everybody that's competing is always super fluent all the time. And, you know, you definitely need to practice with, you know, very good drivers. Luckily, I have a good team you know, backing me and, you know, always willing to help me get some tandems, you know, the usual suspect guys. And they're very fluid, very solid drivers. And uh, Fernan, as you saw in the later video before this one, he's definitely a very solid driver as well. So we get a couple good drivers that I drive with, as well as I like going and finding randoms, because, you know, I've already found a couple of you guys, you know, that are subscribed to the channel in some lobbies. So it was definitely fun to get doors with you guys and definitely going to be doing more lobbies with you guys once I get my Discord and everything fully running. So now, we're going to see if maybe we can find a different lobby right now. So unfortunately, I'm not really finding any good servers right now, but I did want to just bring you guys my wheel settings. So as I know a lot of you have been asking and talk to you guys about the merch store. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. And as always, I like thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.